welcome dear student today we will see how to prepare magnesium hydroxide mixture that is milk of magnesia as per ip this milk of magnesia is used as a laxative and antacid aim to prepare and submit magnesium hydroxide mixture 50 ml requirements chemicals magnesium sulfate sodium hydroxide light magnesium oxide then chloroform peppermint oil and purified water now apparatus required to perform this practical mortar and pestle glass rod electronic weighing balance beakers measuring cylinder and pipette uh, before moving towards the experiment first of all we'll go through this some theory of suspension because milk of magnesia is a suspension dosage form suspension are heterogeneous biphasic liquids in which insoluble solid particulate are uniformly distributed in a liquid phase which may be stabilized by inclusion of suspending agent ideal qualities of suspension it should settle slowly readily redispersed on a gentle shaking of a container it should pour readily and evenly from its container the suspended particles should not form a cake a suspended particles should be small and uniformly sized viscosity of suspension must not so high it should be chemically inert then advantages of suspension dosage form suspension can improve chemical stability of certain drugs like procaine penicillin g then drug in a suspension exhibits higher rate of bioavailability than other dosage form like capsules then compressed tablet and coated tablet then duration and onset of action can be controlled by formulating uh, suspension like proteanum proteamine zinc insulin suspension then suspension can mask unpleasant or bitter taste of drug for example chloramphenicol easy to swallow for pediatric and pediatric patients then disadvantages of suspension dosage form that is physical instability then sedimentation and compaction can cause its problems it is bulky sufficient care must be taken during handling and transport it is difficult to formulate uniform and accurate doses cannot be achieved unless suspension are packed in a unit dosage form as it is the liquid dosage form uh, it is required to protect from microbial attack then application of the suspension dosage form it is usually applicable for drugs which are insoluble or poorly soluble for example prednisolone suspension to prevent degradation of drug or to improve stability of drug for example oxy tetracycline suspension to mask the taste of bitter and or unpleasant drug like chloramphenicol palmitate suspension suspension of drug can be formulated for topical application for example calamine lotion suspension can be formulated for parenteral application in order to control rate of drug absorption for example penicillin procaine vaccine 
as a immunizing agent are often formulated as a suspension for example cholera vaccine then it is also used as a x-ray contrast media for the different diagnostic tests of elementary canal so barium sulfate suspension is used as a x-ray contrast media now we'll see some uh, formulations of suspension antacid oral suspensions are there antibacterial oral suspensions are there dry powder for oral suspension especially in case of antibiotics okay antibiotics are uh, provided in the form of dry powder and you require to prepare oral suspension by dissolving that powder into the sufficient amount of water analgesic oral suspension then anthelmintic oral suspension then anticonvulsant then antifungal so these are the different pharmaceutical suspensions now we'll see some information related with the magnesium hydroxide which is used as a antacid or laxative in the suspension dosage form so magnesium oxide is non toxic in organic base its aqueous suspension is known as milk of magnesia this is very common antacid formulation formula and structure of magnesium hydroxide chemical formula magnesium of magnesium hydroxide is mgoh2 and its molar mass is 58.32 g per mole chemical structure is shown below where central magnesium is bonded to two hydroxy group the compound is ionic and existing mainly as a magnesium and hydrox hydroxide ions so this is your central magnesium magnesium ion and it is forming a bond with the two hydroxy group then physical properties of magnesium hydroxide is obtained as a odorless white solid with density of 2.34 g per ml and melting point of 350 degree centigrade it is also available as an aqueous suspension in the water then chemical properties at higher temperature solid magnesium hydroxide undergoes a very endothermic decomposition into magnesium oxide and water making it a good smoke suppressing and fire fighting agent then this magnesium hydroxide is converted into the magnesium oxide and water it is moderately basic and neutralized mild acids it is really sorry it is it readily dissociate in a water to give hydroxyl ion and magnesium ion it is soluble in water but because of this dissociation reaction it forms a white milky suspension and hence it is known as the milk of magnesia because color of that suspension is milky and that's why it is called milk of magnesia then uses of this magnesium hydroxide it is mild basic non toxic magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid to neutralize stomach acids and prevent indigestion and heartburn it is also used as a laxative antiperspirant then as a deodorant also used in the treatment of sores into the waste water treatment and fire retardant then principle behind this experiment this milk of magnesia is prepared by precipitation method and in a part by hydration so that the resulting mixture will neither be viscous nor be readily subside a product prepared only by method of hydration will be gelatinous and a pourable upon keeping on other hand 
the product repair only by a method of precipitation uh, when we use this uh, precipitation and hydration method then uh, we'll get proper consistency of suspension if we use only hydration method then we'll get a gel like consistency and when uh, we go with the precipitation method we'll get a thin suspension like our solution so better way you have to use both the method precipitation as well as hydration then we'll get proper consistency of suspension when its ph is 10 then peppermint oil is used as a flavoring agent that's why what happen its palatability is increased then hydration of magnesium sulfate what happen in hydration this sodium hydroxide react with this hydrated magnesium sulfate and precipitated as the magnesium hydroxide then diluted solution being used to ensure a fine flocculent gelatinous precipitate of magnesium hydroxide then magnesium oxide which is used in this formulation it form a magnesium hydroxide when it react with the water when you add your magnesium oxide into the water it is immediately converted into the magnesium hydroxide then purified water is used as the vehicle so these are the two steps of hydration and precipitation of magnesium hydroxide then formula hydrated magnesium sulfate 100 g sodium hydroxide 15 g magnesium oxide 52.5 g chloroform 2.5 ml peppermint oil 0.5 ml purified water 1000 ml so this is the formula for the 1000 ml milk of magnesia but we want to prepare 50 ml so for that purpose uh, here you require to calculate quantities of each and every ingredient for the 50 ml now for the 1000 ml uh, for example hydrated magnesium sulfate is required 100 g then for the 50 ml it requires x gram so by using cross multiplication you can calculate how much hydrated magnesium sulfate is required for the 50 ml so calculated answer is 5 g so 5 g is required for the 50 ml of your milk of magnesia similarly you required to calculate all the quantities of ingredient for the 50 ml of your suspension so here i have calculated quantities of each and every ingredient for the 50 ml of suspension so sodium hydroxide 0.7 g magnesium oxide 2.6 25 g chloroform 0.125 g then peppermint oil 0.025 ml Uh, so here you require to prepare one table in that you have to mention ingredients then mention quantities given into the formula then these are the calculated quantities for the 50 ml and role of each and every ingredient into the formulation so hydrated magnesium sulfate is used as the reactant for the formulation of or for the preparation of this magnesium hydroxide then sodium hydroxide is also used as the reactant then light magnesium oxide is also used as the reactant okay then it is converted into the magnesium hydroxide then chloroform used as the preservative peppermint oil used as the flavoring agent and purified water used as a next part is procedure in first step you have to take 0.75 g of sodium hydroxide and then dissolve it into the purified water then triturate magnesium oxide 2.6 g in a mortar with the solution of hydroxide which is prepared into the step 1 and form a smooth cream 
then add purified water and make up a volume up to 25 ml then uh, add 5 gram of magnesium sulfate in purified water into the separate beaker and make up volume 25 ml then mix both the suspension with continuous stirring okay which is prepared into the step 2 and step 3 then allow the precipitate to subside filter and wash precipitate with purified water M mix this precipitate with purified water and make up volume up to 50 ml then add flavoring agent and chloroform and then stir well now we see actual demonstration how to prepare this magnesium hydroxide mixture for table so obtain working formula after calculation is hydrated magnesium sulfate 5 gram then sodium hydroxide 0.75 gram then light magnesium oxide 2.625 gram and chloroform 0.125 ml then peppermint oil 0.025 ml and purified water up to 50 ml Now in first step, I am taking fifteen ml distilled, sorry, purified water, and dissolving it, uh, dissolving sodium hydroxide into this water. now take this weighted amount of magnesium hydroxide into the mortar and this prepared solution of sodium hydroxide you have to add and prepare smooth cream likewise you have to add all this sodium hydroxide and prepare smooth dispersion of this magnesium oxide then transfer this dispersion into the measuring cylinder and make up volume up to 25 ml so by using purified water i am making volume up to the 25 ml now keep it aside and uh, prepare magnesium sulfate solution okay for this solution here i have taken 5 g of magnesium sulfate now i am adding 25 ml of water and this is magnesium sulfate and dissolve it with the help of glass rod then this uh, previously prepared suspension you have to add slowly slowly into this magnesium sulfate mixture and 
mix it properly. Then there is a precipitation. White pipette is formed. And this pipette is of magnesium hydroxide. Now you have to keep it aside uh, for one hour. After one hour, you will get a separation of two layer. Your solid get deposited or your precipitate uh, PPT get uh, deposited at the bottom, and a clear liquid is there about to this solid. So what you have to do? You have to decant this liquid, supernatant liquid. and separate out this precipitated part now you have to transfer it on a filter paper now i am transferring this precipitated part on a filter paper and i am adding excess of water so what happened the sulfate which is remaining into the ppt it will be wash out now we are ready with this washed ppt now i am transfer transferring it into the beaker and adding few amount of water now transfer this suspension into the measuring cylinder and make up volume up to 50 ml with the help of purified water again transfer the suspension into the Here I have transferred this 50 ml suspension into the beaker. Now I am adding a chloroform into the suspension. We we'll add peppermint oil into the suspension. It will give flavor to the suspension. then add chloroform into the suspension and to one ml chloroform we have to add then mix it properly with the help of glass rod now my suspension is ready now this is amber colored water and i am transferring this mixture into this bottle now you have to label it with a suitable label uh, i will tell you how to prepare a label for this now your formulation is ready now we'll see which thing should be there on a label so first of all there should be the category antacid and laxative then storage condition store in a tightly closed container at a temperature 
above freezing temperature and below will be 35 degree centigrade then dose as a antacid 1 to 4 ml and as a laxative 8 to 16 ml then labeling conditions you have to also mention check your formulation before use freezing must be avoided and temperature above 35 degree centigrade may decrease the gel structure then uh, these type of the label you require to prepare for your formulation so your label should contain name of your formulation that is magnesium hydroxide mixture 50 ml then you have to mention which ingredients you have used for the formulation of these suspension then you have to mention manufacturing date expiry date manufacturing LIC number and batch number then mention category uh, then don't forget to write check well before use because it is a suspension dosage form and there is a settling of particle at the bottom of your formulation uh, bottom of your container that's why what you have to do you have to mention specially in red color on your label that is check well before use then storage conditions store at a room temperature protect from freeze freezing and keep in a tightly closed container and lastly you have to mention name of a manufacturing company then these type of the containers are used for the suspension dosage form as per the capacity of your formulation then likewise you have to stick this label on your container Now your formulation is ready to use. Then result, the magnesium hydroxide mixture 50 ml was prepared and submitted. Then questions uh, that will be asked into the synopsis and viva. First, what is suspension or define suspension? Suspension are heterogeneous biphasic liquids in which insoluble solid particulates are uniformly distributed in a liquid phase which may be stabilized by inclusion of suspending agents. Then what are the qualities of suspension? It should settle slowly then readily redispersed on a gentle shaking of container. It should pour readily and evenly from its container. The suspended particles should not form a cake. The suspended particles should be small and uniformly sized. Viscosity must not so high. It should be chemically inert. Then differentiate between flocculated and deflocculated suspension. The first difference that is sedimented particles into the flocculated suspension form a network like structure. Into the deflocculated suspension they act as a separate individual particle. Then velocity of sedimentation is fast fall, to fall together in flocculated then it is slow into the deflocculated. Then a distinct boundary between sediment and supernant is there into the flocculated suspension. But into the deflocculated suspension, no distinct boundary between sediment and supernant is there. Then the supernant is clear into flocculated suspension and it is turpid for the deflocculated. Then no pledging in appearance flocculated suspension and deflocculated is pleasing in appearance viscosity is high for flocculated suspension and it is low for the deflocculated then rheological property of flocculated suspension shows plastic and pseudoplastic flow while deflocculated suspensions are showing dilatant flow then sediment loosely packed and doesn't form a cake 
and deflocculated suspension are closely packed and form a hard cake redispersibility is easy for the flocculated suspension and it is quite difficult into the deflocculated suspension there is a chances of formation of cake into the deflocculated suspension what is a dose of milk of magnesia as an antacid Uh, in a lower doses that is 1 to 4 ml and as an laxative in a higher doses like uh, for example 8 to 16 ml how magnesium hydroxide acts as an antacid and laxative so magnesium is naturally occurring mineral and magnesium hydroxide reduces stomach acid and increases water in the intestine which may include bowel movement magnesium hydroxide used as a laxative to relieve occasional constipation magnesium hydroxide is also used as a antacid to relieve indigestion sore stomach and heartburn why a part of magnesium hydroxide is prepared by precipitation and remainder uh, re remainder part is prepared by the hydration method so reason behind this uh, it is carried out to maintain required or ability of product uh, from hydration magnesium oxide is very viscous which become on unpourable on heating while precipitate uh, precipitation method uh, form a suspen uh, suspension which is a fl fluid like consistency it's having a very less viscosity the mixture of magnesium hydroxide prepared by the precipitation and hydration both method not excessively thick or thin but hold desired viscosity that's why both of these methods are used for the preparation of magnesium hydroxide mixture what is action of magnesium hydroxide mixture so it is it has an action in a low doses as a an antacid while higher doses as a laxative antacid activity is due to hydroxide which is consumed by the gastric hydrochloric acid and in higher doses magnesium ion is not absorbed on at most or a slightly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract therefore they are given orally into the uh, form of hypotonic solution and they draw a water from the tissue into the intestine and does or acts as a saline laxative thank you